Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the hadith Qudsi, I have prepared for my righteous servants, what no eye has ever seen, what no ear has ever heard, what has not been imagined by any human being. Have you ever seen the greatest mansions and resorts in this life that made you think, wow, that's remarkable. How on earth did anyone make that? How was that design? The architecture is phenomenal. That resort is so grand and magnificent, you're dreaming about it through the posts and reels of other people. That location is so expensive, you think to yourself, it's just a dream. And some people might even think, wow, that person must be super wealthy and super lucky. If all of the resorts of this world were combined from the beginning to the end of times, and you saw every single type of rich or wealthy or expensive experience in terms of homes, in terms of places and structures, all of that is nothing, absolutely nothing, compared to a small space in Jannah, the size of a bow and arrow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not say, the angels built for you. He says, I have prepared for my righteous servants. The righteous does not mean the perfect. As-salihin are those who kept trying and trying and trying to purify themselves to a place of salah, a place of goodness. And it is an ongoing process, but it's one that has an everlasting return. So don't give up on purifying yourself for the sake of Allah, for Allah promises you the best of homes, pa palaces and mansions unlike anything you've imagined. Gardens with trees that are planted by your remembrance. Dhikr. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. And when you think about these praises of Allah and these reflections and supplications, remember you are planting your garden and having your home built in Jannah today. How? By worshipping Allah. By worshipping Allah in the gardens of Ad dunya and they are a lowly garden. It's the lowly life in terms of quality compared to the next life. But it is the highest and only quality of opportunity. Your only opportunity to gather good deeds, to have your home developed in Jannah, to purify your heart, and to become a better human being altogether. The question is, which palace does your heart lean to more? Which kings and queens are you admiring and looking up to more than anything else? The ones who die in this world with nothing to take to the grave, or the king of all kings who created the universe and created you as well? Gardens and rivers, springs and waterfalls, palaces and trees, gold and silver, ground of musk and pearls and emeralds and rubies. How can you not work for that? Plant your garden today through your charity, supplication, your dua, your dhikr. Have your home built today through your prayer, your good character, your honesty. Don't aim for the cheap life in your heart. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the best of homes in this life and in the next life.